All right, folks, it's Jeff from RV Diagnostics, video two of the bi-directional relay control for motors that go left clockwise, counterclockwise, or left and right. Uh, what are they on? You know what they're on. They're on uh, power windows, because some RVs have them. Uh, they're on hydraulic pump motors for leg levelers, leveling systems that don't have springs on them. They have to go, hydraulic pump has to pump both ways, bi-directional. They're on awnings that have to go in and out. Uh, they're on shades or blinds that go up and down. So here we go. So already got, number one is in, number two is out. I got this one wired up. Here's my common ground, right? There's the power from the RV. All right, and then we got a common, right? Because white is ground in the chassis wire, but I put a black here, so that's my ground. And then this is the motor, right? That goes to, let's see here. We already got the one I installed for the awning right here, the main awning, but you got the door awning. All right, and I've already tested it, and it's mechanically messed up, but now the power's getting to it, making it work back and forward. All right, so we're going to hook that up. Here we go. Okay. So here's your B negative, B positive right back there. Where's my B positive? All right, so here's B positive right here. So I'm going to run another wire. See, it's marked B positive. We'll run another wire from number four, empty slot, over to this one. That'll give it B plus. Same way with B negative. I'm going to run one over to here, from here to here. All right. Now, the common colors is brown, right, which is the switch inside, which is the ground. Let me show you and put you on pause real quick. All right, so it might not make sense to you, but see right here is Weather Pro Remote Switch. That's the one that's inside the coach. All right, now you got here Oasis Elite. That's that little one above the door there. Right, over, right there where the door is. All right, so the wires are pretty much the same. All right, so here's the awning. See, somebody was in here, look. So brown is ground, yellow, no stripe on it, green. All right, so the yellow went to what? The white wire are in. All right, and then the green, the green wire went over to the black 8586 coil to number two out. So this, the same would be here. All right, here we go. We got the brown to ground, but it's a brown with a white stripe because it's a second device. So they make it with a stripe. And if they had a third one, they'd make a stripe with slashes or dots. Okay, so here's yellow. Yellow is for in and green is for out. Where would they go? They would go right here to these guys. Black, right? So look, we got yellow going to white. And then we got green going to black. So we would take green to black right here. And then yellow to white. And what would be left? The reds, which go to the motor, which happens to be red with a white stripe. And guess what? Blue. All right, because here was just red and black. All right. Well, here we go. We'll put it on pause. I'm going to put some crimps on, make these look nice, get them all set up. So a future tech, and I have to put some fuses in here, right? Blue for 15 amps. The main fuse in the coach right there, there's a closet in there. It's a 20 amp. So I'm going to lower this one a little bit. All right. So I'll put you on. I got to let the dog out because she's barking. Hold on. All right. We're back. It's fired up. All right, you get your in and your out. So let's go see what happens. Here we go. We're gonna go on the coach. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna pull. 
push extend and ready and then I'm gonna push retract there you go and this here is broken this thing right here the deal, when it goes out and extends all right so the one above the door has to be mechanically fixed now all right so probably it's got some rip stuff probably got something bent up in there or binding the cap's got to be moved over a little bit all right this is jeff from rv diagnostics hope you learned a lot today out there um how to take two relays 85 86 is always the coil uh 30 to 87 is a normally open switch inside contacts 30 to 87 a is normally closed what i mean by normally the coil is not energized with current or not turned on creating magnetism all right thank you very much this is jeff from rv diagnostics all right so what's the motto <laughs> test not guess all right folks what we found out was the module on this one was just totally liberated by lightning uh, we're having a hard time getting modules so we wired in some relays it wasn't computer control it's not on no network system so we can do this all right like i said what's the motto you're right test not guess What's the famous saying of RV diagnostics, or my saying, is safe travels. May you campfires burn bright till we meet again. Might be on a YouTube channel. It might be on my website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's a paid membership. Right now it's at $118 a year. That's less than $9.30 a month. You got to pay for a year. You get me in my pocket. You get me in your pocket, and I help you one-on-one. -on -one. The first time you use me, it pays for itself. Because just to get a tech out is anywhere from $100 to $150. He ain't even touched your RV. What's another way that you see me? Hell, at a campground. At a filling station, filling up at a diesel stop. Now you over in a gas, you got a gas, or it's okay. It don't matter if you're a travel trailer pop-up. It don't matter. We're all going camping. What's another way to see me? On the RV Diagnostics Troubleshooting Facebook page. About 24,000 members. Where else could you see me? At this garage. Right? And school at Bloxham School Road. B-L-O-X-O-M. School Road. Seaford. S-E-A-F-O-R-D. Delaware. 19973. Remember, folks, you got to give me a week or two notice that you're coming. All right? I got 50 amp service. I got water and sewage in the back, and I'm getting ready to put in an RV storage lot with 20 amp service to each RV so we can maintain some dehumidifiers in them and battery chargers. Keep the batteries up to par. And I live here, so I'll be checking on your batteries if they're wet cell. I think that'll range anywhere from $100 to $150 a month for storage. I might even get crazy and put some overhead storage in. You know what I mean? Like a yeah, big old Class A diesel pull in, a nice C's, a little roof over them, a carport. All right. Thank you very much. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Hope you had fun learning.